Where are you? I'm folding the clothes so that you don't sleep in a pile of clothes. <laughs> what birthday gift do you want? I want a new Steam Deck OLED. You asked for something a little bit cheaper. Okay. Have a new watch strap maybe. This watch strap is already wearing out. Alright. I want to make you an app. Okay. Your workout app. Yes. Uh, warm up set calculation is already in. Motivational quotes for when I am lazy. <laughs> Alright. Thank you for folding your clothes. I want to poop. Bye bye. So I'm going to create this app. Let's name this Macho. Choose storyboard, add test, next. Try to run the app first. Oh yay, we have nothing here. Always commit the code immediately before I screw up anything. Next is coordinator. Okay, so after all the setup, now you can see a yellow screen. By the way, I don't know why, but my VPN is like super slow recently. Hmm. Are you fetching? Oh. Install another package. Now I'm adding authentication. And I know this part is boring, so let me skip it. Boom! We're making some UI now. Supposedly, you should see UI preview here, but I don't know what's wrong with it. It looks so bad. <laughs> so 48 minutes in, we finally finished authentication and a fake Google login. Let's write some test. So I finished writing a test, but Xcode just keep crashing. Let me show you. If I click this... Uh, I'll try again. Mm, ignore. And if you rename the class... Uh, mm, I think some indexing issue because I deleted the UI test. Mm, I just reverted my changes, but it's still not working. So I started a new project this morning. <laughs> I'm naming this one Hawk. Tada! I have moved everything to the new projects now. Alright, everything is working now. Tests are passed. Then of course I committed the code before I screw up again. After that, I went to the dentist. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. The NT say that she would give me Ambao if I find a job and come back visit her during CNY. All right, let's continue. Okay, so now we have a fake Google login to tab pages. I feel like people will hate me if I put too much coding sessions, so I'm just gonna skip the code. Now I create this logout button. And I'm going to connect the real Google sign-in now. Let's try Google sign-in. Yeah, my VPN is still very slow. I'm gonna give it one star. Hmm. Hey. Hmm? Hmm? What the heck? Okay, okay. Okay, I type my own. Hey. Uh. Huh? What is this? Hey. Uh. Very slow network. Oh, yeah. Da, da, da. Okay, okay, it works. After all configuration stuff, here comes the most challenging part to define what a workout is. Uh, I think we also need end time, maybe a body weight, and title. Ah, uh, circuit? Set? The set should be inside exercise. Okay, so session has something. Maybe it's a group of exercise. Then set is under this. So is it a group? Maybe a circuit? Or maybe I just call it a superset? Then I defined other workout stuff like set, weight, exercise. Copy this workout exercise data from my old app. Oh yay, home screen is done. Okay, this is session screen. I'll add these functions later. 
Later in the night, we went to this K barbecue place because I really want to try it before I leave Singapore. And the stuff just kind of disappeared, so we got lost. Oh, thank you so much! And I completely forgot to film the food because I was too excited to eat. So please imagine the food from this random picture I just googled. Then I went home and switched to the laptop to continue coding a little bit. The next day, I didn't code much because I have to finish the book report. Then I also bought the ticket for iOS Com 2024. It's pricey for me as an unemployed person, but I think it's a good place to learn and do networking. Then I watched the free crash course from Essential Developers. I really, really want to sign up for the program, but it's so expensive. Know whether it's embedded inside an aviation controller or split. I didn't control. know this. Look at that. <gasps> A lot wow. of developers don't know about this API, so yes. it's important to share it. Okay, thank you. Then I finished the final piece of code for the final project and went to church for Christmas carols rehearsal. I've been playing for this event every year since 2019, and I hope this won't be my last time playing here. It's the next day and I think I finished about 90% of the project. Now I just need to debug a little bit. Oh, it's here. I'm going to add data storage properly. So Xcode has this spell check function. But even now, I still don't understand why Apple doesn't want to add persistable into their dictionary. And this word is already used in so many different Apple APIs. Save. I think it's working now. Mm -hmm. What? There's a bug. While I'm locking the bot, let me quickly demo how the app looks like right now. So this is the main screen. Here you can see the log and the routine. You can preview the routine, also edit this routine. Here you can change the weight. You can also see the history. I have only dummy data here, so it's 0 You can check the info if you want to know more about certain exercise. Here's the log. You can see the exercise you have done before. Then once you complete the set, you can check. This is a timer that you can set how many minutes you want. I think you probably need to add seconds as well. Then you can also reorder the circuits or save it as routine, which I haven't implemented yet. If you start a new empty workout, you can choose the exercise you wanted to have. Use the filter, find the exercise and add it here. These are the reminders. Then the quotes are there. This is Google Sign. This is the reminder and you can choose yes or no. If you choose no, you will see motivational quote. Yeah, so that's all. I don't know if this is interesting to you, but thank you for watching this video. I'm flying back to Taiwan next week, so the next video is gonna be my last Singapore video. Thank you very much and wish you have a nice weekend ahead. Bye bye!